We're back now, as promised, with more on this nuclear disaster in Japan. Let's talk about the effects here. And here is a map of the states that have detected radiation all the way from Japan. It's now being reported in trace amounts in milk in some western states and in the water in places like Idaho and Washington state. And what about all that water, millions of gallons of it, highly radioactive, that was dumped into the Pacific Ocean for days on end? We've all been told it will dissipate, but how can this not be harmful? NBC's Miguel Almaguer on the Pacific Coast tonight, on the beach in Santa Monica. And Miguel, it's over your shoulder if you keep on going a long way. That's true, Brian, and good evening. Although there's many concerns about what's going on in the water in Japan, that toxic water that's been discovered there, so many people here at home are worried about what's happening right here. The mackerel, yellowtail, and Thai snapper sold at this Los Angeles seafood distributor is less than 40 hours old. Fresh fish direct from Japan, a $236 million industry last year alone. This seafood is headed straight to consumers, safe to sell and eat, according to federal inspectors who were here yesterday. If there was any question at all, uh, first of all, it wouldn't be allowed into the United States. Uh, and secondary, uh, we wouldn't... We really wouldn't uh, bring it in here uh, on our showroom. The Food and Drug Administration says it's ramped up inspections of Japanese food, but so far, none of the fish have tested positive for radiation. FDA has examined almost a thousand entries of seafood products. People should feel confident in the safety of the food supply. Still, many consumers and businesses are worried. In New York, we detect absolutely zero radiation. Chef Eric Repair stopped serving fish from Japan altogether, and as an extra precaution, he uses a radiation detector to test the fish he does sell. I started to see a little bit of paranoia in, in some of our clients. Uh, some of our staff was uh, also concerned, myself included. Concerned because radioactive water has been discovered in Japan and contaminated fish have been found off the coast. No, that is not made of danger. But oceanographers here say there's no reason to be alarmed. Any radioactive contamination could take years to reach the west coast, and it would all likely dissipate out at sea. I don't think swimming in California or in Hawaii is a threat as of now, and I don't expect to be a significant threat. Uh, in the next several months. The bottom line, experts are in agreement. There's no threat to our water or our food. And as you can see, Brian, California's coastline is still as beautiful as ever. Miguel, thanks. We got a lot riding on that word dissipate. Miguel Almaguer in Santa Monica tonight. Thanks.